Found a little something to set the drink on. My girl pointed out, you know, a little shelf over to the side. Uh, this is a quick piece, man. About to bounce in, bounce out. Uh, we're still playing with the angles, playing with what I got to do, playing with sound, playing with whatever, trying to get it right. It's a little more hype than yesterday, but probably won't be when I come back. I intend on doing like a, uh, probably after I do this little thing, I'm going to probably come back when I, I got some errands I got to run, some things I got to do, and some stuff I got to, you know, whatever. Grown shoes. But, uh, when I get back, I'm probably going to shave a flannel, you know, like a porn star's poon tang. And uh, I'll probably do that shit, record it, and uh, like speed it up, then re-render it and double that and get it to where it just blows through a, you know, hour of shaving in 10 minutes or less. And uh, try to have some before and after pics and throw it right in this same video if it's possible. If not, if it goes too long, I'll put them up as separate videos and this whole little segment will be pointless. Um, I also intend on showing off. My girl made these dope-ass things uh, from the dollar store uh, or whatever, uh, somewhere along the lines, I think. It wasn't from the dollar store? No, I got the racks from Michaels. Oh, my bad. <laughs> the The racks came from Michaels and the... Uh, the little uh, clippy dippies came from the dollar store. You'll see. It'll be maybe in this video, maybe in the next video. Maybe I'll just keep it low key. Maybe I won't. I don't even know if I can use the Microtech to open this. Another box from Moto Sun. Or box, you know, soft box. I like my boxes soft anyway, you know what I mean? Uh, let me get another little sip. A little sip. We, we drink. Well, I'll drink to that. Mmm. You guys all remember to tell your mom I said hi, right? All right, just making sure. All right, let's get in here. We're going to do some tearing, some raring and tearing. I just traded a traded up with uh, somebody today. Actually, I haven't shipped mine out yet. It's sitting out on the table, box ready, ready to rock. Box ready to rock. But uh, I'm trading one of my 12 gauges for a Misfits because I never did get the Misfits when it was out. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't think it was going to sell out, and clearly it did. All right, well, man, I'm trying to remember what these are before I open them. I know that one is going to be the Lafayette. Uh, and the other one, I want to say the other one is the Summit. I hope it's not the Avalanche, because I just copped the Avalanche on Poshmark today. So if I got another Poshmark, I'm going to have to put the Reflecty, the Reflecticles, my Spectacle Reflect. Fucking, that, I'm just so greasy. I'm like Sam the Caveman, like Trailer Park Boys. Hey. Uh, ripping in. Ooh, that one's sexy. We'll hold that off. <laughs> Everything from Moto's on. Moto always smell good, man. Be lucky. I ain't, you know, of the, of the uh, interested in male persuasion. So, he said, always smell like clean house and cologne. So, I ain't this bitch. So, I might have to change out. I might have to take this chaplain off. Put this bad mamma jam on. With that being said, though, what's this? The button say? Dixon Flannel Company. So is this a pre-pleat? Oh, shit. Yeah, the Summit is a pre-pleat. I didn't even know that. So, and this bitch is clean, man. He let me get it for the love, too. Dang. All right, let me hold it up one time. I don't got no sticker, no bag, no tag. Um, see, I think, hopefully I can do a little better, man, with the, well, burn. We're going to try to do a little better with these angles, man, because that shit sucked on that last video to me. I mean, it's cool. My new racks are cool and shit, but if I, if I just look whack as fuck and it's all close on me and you just got to stare at my face and see my weathered grill. I've been road hard to put away wet a time or two, folks. Uh, there's the tag on that summit. This summit is cool, man. I didn't even... Man... I guess I just slept on this the whole time because it's got the pearly snaps. It's got black and silver for the tag on the chest. Huh. Let's see what we got down here. I hope they match down here too. Oh yeah, black with silver down yonder. Yeah, we in there. Oh, and I was going to say what color is the what you have it, but they don't have the what you have it on these older ones, which is kind of cool as far as I'm concerned. Still the same sticker in the back. And the buttons, they don't, I mean, they're just, uh, you know, Dixon Flannel Company. The collage will be up here somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. Or I'll cut away to it, or I'll do something along them lines. Dang, man, this is smooth. Yep. All right. 
But uh, yeah, me and my chick got plans, man. We about to step out, so I'm gonna keep it moving. We gonna step. We show you the back one time, one more time, one time for your mind. Damn, yeah, this bitch was clean. Front, front piece, blam, blam, blam. I don't know, baby. Can you tell? Uh, I mean, cause I can't see. Is it like what, how's it looking on the screen? Where? How much? Up, down, left, right. That's what it think. Ooh. All right. Bam. We throw this bit. Wow. Bop. Throw it up there. And this one here. Yeah. Damn, if I'd have known, I would have did this one first because this one might not even be as cool as that one. This one was one that I had been seeking. The Lafayette. Or whatever. I think that's how you say it. Lafayette. Lafayette. This is me and my Frenchman friends. Ooh, a little white piece. It's all right. I wonder what he, what he, uh, is this, uh, Arm and Hammer? Or what do they call it? Uh, Carpet Fresh. He'll be keeping his closet Carpet Fresh. Some Glade plugins. I don't know. This is Tang Dixon Flannel Company. The red on the gray and black is smooth. I dig it. <clears throat> red and black tag with the red and black button. I don't know. I mean, most of these, these ones, man, are old enough to where y'all probably seen them, you know? They've been around the world. Nah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just new to them, man. I, I spent too long hating on Dixon to have them. <clears throat> Move it up and down, side to side. Try to make it to where there'll be a piece where you'll be able to see it, maybe. Unless you're all distracted by my reflecticles. Yeah, these are both nice flannels, man. He looked out, dude. Because uh, I've seen each of these flannels go for more than he charged me for the pair. And his flannels are nice. Not only are his flannels nice, he's pretty consistent with always having pre-pleat, always having the OGs, always having unicorns. I still need him to dig into his collecto, man, and find me his slammed. Because I need his slammed. But he'll probably want, you know, like I said, man, he's going to have spit on it a little bit before he put <laughs> Yeah. All right, man. We're going to take a little, little slippery dippery. Mmm. Hey, here. Yep. All right. Yeah, so one more again with this one. Bow. Spinner, spinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Bow. Lafayette. Uh, throw it on me. Uh, ooh. She's staring at that woman. Uh, 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 yeah. I'm like a helpless toddler. I'm like the baby monkeys at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's impressive, ain't it? She gets to call me hers. <laughs> I know you guys' wives are jealous. Uh, one more time on this. Throw it out one more time. Bow. Bow. Fucking silver and white. Black and gray. Huh, we in there. Two cool ass flannels. With that being said, any of y'all got a uh, Summit sticker for me or a Lafayette sticker for me? I could use either or or a bag you don't give a shit about for an XL. I think these are both XL. If everything uh, is everything. Yeah, XL. And 13. And is this one not even fucking say? Oh, yeah, XL. Yeah, so if you guys had a bag and a tag for an XL, or just the tag, really, because I don't give a shit. I'm not selling these. These are for my personal collection, so I don't really care about the bag. But I do keep them anyway. I got a tote full of them for some ridiculous reason. It panned out today. I packed up that uh, I packed up that shotgun or whatever, the 12 gauge, and put it back in its bag with its tissue paper and its you know its collar keeper and the little plastic pieces that I want to make a chandelier out of someday. Or somebody needs to teach me how to make something out of them. We got to do some recyclable freshness. Um, I put it all back together, and if there wasn't all that, uh, if there wasn't a fur coat on it from the uh, from the pollen producing ass dog over there, it would probably look like it was brand new. I could have illusioned him, illusion. I could have used my illusions. Um, but yeah, I didn't do that. I'm gonna put one of these on. I'm gonna end this video. I am gonna something else. I've been doing, man. I got these. Uh, can I? Will you hand me one of them little stickers, baby? It's something she's been doing. Well, she hasn't been doing what I was gonna say, but she wants to. Oh, yeah, I mean. She makes these on the uh, on the uh, the grasshopper or whatever over there, and uh, 
So just um, just know that, that these are from the Locust. But Roach stickers, if you cop something from me on the Poshmark, you cop something from me on the, uh, on the book, eBay, whatever, I'm going to toss these in. If I sneak by your neighborhood, I'm going to smack one on your mom's headboard. Um, yeah, you get, get one of these with everything, man. If you wanted one, I mean, if somebody did want one of these, they're window decals. You know what I'm saying? You peel off the clear, stick it on a thing, peel off the clear. Uh, I'll probably, these ones right here are like $3, man. $5 shipped or something. I don't know if you wanted one separate. I'll try to figure out some way for me to make money for doing this instead of it just costing me money. So now you can put, uh, you can infest your crib with some little buggy duggies. I don't know. Mm. And I got it, you know, even though I am currently Roach, I am, I do have a, a my, my endeavors do, do owe a percentage of any of this to another gentleman that's my, uh, my business partner in, of, of uh, yesteryear. And I would never, ever in a million years cut him out. So if I did sell any of these, he would also get his premium. That's my dog. One day, one day I might be able to get him to sit right here. But he's just going to talk shit to me for flannels and stuff. I don't know. He used to talk shit to me for the Jordans and the Nikes and all that stuff. And I went to his crib and he had like a thousand pairs of Jordans and Nikes by his door. Because his budget's different. So you never know what your budget might change about your attitude. Uh, with that being said... Uh, it's probably going to do some and all that and whatever or whatever, some kind of cuts and some kind of what's. And uh, actually, probably ain't going to do shit, man. You know what? I'm going to cut this. I'm going to edit this shit on the way to where me and my chick going. And you're going to have a 12 minute video, 13 minute video, and we'll be 100. And then I'll do some more shit later tonight. And I'll shave your mom's back right before we get in the shower and shit. And you can wash your dad's back in the shower and everything will be good, man. Do a big Wodowski style. Get crunk. Stay rude. Wear Dixon's. Fuck off. Love you guys.